Ready for Good evening. This is uh, the June 10th, 2013 Rhinebeck Town Board meeting, and we'll start with a pledge with Sarah Wood from uh, Junior Girl Scout Troop. Is that right? Okay. Sarah. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you, Thank you Sarah. Yeah. All right, good evening. Uh, for announcements, we have there will be a public hearing on the Thompson Mazzarella Park Development Plan held by the Rhinebeck Town Planning Board and the Village of Rhinebeck Planning Board on June 18th at 7.30 p.m. That's at the Village Hall. Uh, the town pool is now open on weekends from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., weather permitting. Beginning on June 29th, it will be open daily from 1 to 7. We have a motion and second to approve the March 29th town board meeting minutes. Motion. Second. second. Um, all in favor, aye. 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 That's so moved. We have a, anybody have liaison reports today? One from the... Um Bruce, were you able to go to Waterfront? Because I was away, but I heard that it was a great success. Um, Meg Crawford donated two trees, which were planted by the committee, and they did a phenomenal job getting them in. The trees are beautiful. The, all this rain is going to be beautiful for them. Um, I don't know about the actual turnout. Uh, for Waterfront Day? It was, yeah. it was great. I was, was there. It good. was really good early wonderful. And yeah. Late, it was got really, really hot, so it... After about, I'd say one or two. Oh, that was during like yeah. the heat wave yeah. time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It was okay. great. That's, uh, anybody else for liaison report? I'm just looking. Um, bear with me one second. Um, the board of assessment review has a couple of um, decisions yet to do, but there were 31 grievances, and they're almost all done with their decks. Um, I'm going to meet with Amory to go over them. Yeah. Oh. Sorry? I, I was asking her if she was done. I didn't mean to cut her off. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to meet with our assessor to go over them. Um, I have, I am waiting for final numbers from Laserfiche, which is the um, online, you know, optical scanning character recognition um, software program that we want to get for data storage and retrieval. Um, we're going in with on the village with our tech um, Initiative, and as soon as I get those final numbers tomorrow afternoon, I'll have uh, a second draft to get out to the village and um, Northeast Computer Systems to eyeball, and we'll get it into Owen Rafter before the deadline. So that's looking good. Um, I think that's it. Um. Let's see, we've met with, I guess Kathy and I have met with the um, workers' comp people a couple times. I've, I've met with them twice. I don't know, how about you? Oh, just, yeah, to come down to the Yeah, yes, yeah the, twice. the crash bar, and I've got a tripod issue with an open pit. You um, mean the um, chlorine gas thing? Yeah, yeah, so uh, they'll send that along. And uh, we need some training, uh, probably the thing they're stressing the most is workplace violence and then there's some technical things but um, they're also recommending some security changes in to a town hall um, let's see there's a public hearing tomorrow night at Red Hook on their dog park law so uh, if you want to go and speak out against or for the dog park law you might want to go to Red Hook tomorrow night it's kind of counterproductive for us All right. What uh, time is the meeting in Red Hook tomorrow? I think it's 7. Okay. You know, I emailed Brian Miles about um, some boilerplate policy for workplace violence to see if he has any anything boilerplate we can look at in any program he could put together for us because we do need to get that done sooner rather than later. Do we not have later. anything in place now? Is that what you're saying? Not that I know of. Yeah, I thought we'd done it, but person that was working on it, I guess, never carried it all the way through. Um, this guy is going to come in, Josh will come in and give us education. Fantastic. So, so it's, um, it's four hours of education, like two in the morning, two in the afternoon, that kind of thing. And he's asked that 
well, whenever we schedule it, he needs three weeks' notice that um, the village of Tivoli be able to join us Great. for that. So. I'm really going to invite the village. Does the village of Rhinebeck need it? I, I don't know. I know the village of Tivoli wants to do it with us. Great. I'm going to bump up a, um, we have a discussion, the, um, the uh, sales tax issue with the county executive. I just got off the phone with uh, a, on a conference, conference call. call with him for the past 40 minutes. and. Um, the proposal is just uh, anything above $25 million of growth would be distributed at 2% for the towns and villages um, above that. It seemed it's very sh shallow for towns and villages to share that. And then the cities, of course, get more of that. They have a much bigger obligation. Um, most, much of us, most of us are uh, discouraged by what's being proposed. Um, there's other uh, you know, concepts like 50% after the obligations of the cities are met. Above that, 25 million. Um, one of the problems with this is that there's a three three entities that agree on this contract. First of all, the, the contract is a uh, ten years. It's a um, it's an agreement that has to be ratified by uh, the county, and the towns, and the state. Uh, the problem with I'm sorry, I said the county, the municipalities, and the state. The problem with being a municipality is that little towns and villages don't have a voice. The cities are the ones who do the agreement for the municipalities because they have they have that power. We essentially have to get the cities to agree with us for what we can get from it. So that's where we stand um, with that. So uh, there has to be an agreement by July 1st by state law. The comptroller is requiring us to do this. So um, if that's not agreed upon by July 1st, then nobody gets sales tax revenues uh, distributed. So. Uh, the issue is that after July 1st, there's opportunities to amend this agreement, and that's the road we're going down, is to try to communicate with the cities, the two cities, Beacon and Poughkeepsie, and um, to help them, to persuade them to agree upon something better for us down Do the road. Do we have hope of making an agreement with Poughkeepsie and Beacon? I would think so. They certainly, it's just such a short time frame. We were offered uh, 90 days to come to an agreement by the county executive, but he didn't realize, I guess, that the comptroller was going to require this July 1st deadline, as I'm, as I'm seeing it. So, uh, but we do want this agreement in place, no matter what form it is, and the opportunity to ratify it after that, because otherwise we get nothing. So. You mean to? To, to I'm sorry, to amend it. it to it's amend a 10-year agreement, right? It's a 10-year agreement, but we can amend it any time. Um, we want to, the 10-year concept is that we will have some sort of uh, consistency. To budget? Right. Explain the two percent they're offering each town two percent, or you know, yeah. say they take in twenty. So they take in twenty six million. I we get we get an additional twenty thousand dollars. Well, or is it to be split with all? How many are we like twenty seven? Right. Twenty four. Right. What's the sh what's the share? I don't know the numbers. And the what dollar happened numbers, to the so. population? I thought there was also a per capita. Right. Uh, it, there's also a split based upon distribution based upon population. So. But it's not much compared to what the cities get. So, uh, have you reached out to Poughkeepsie or Beacon? We are putting together a small group of mayors and supervisors to create this dialogue with the cities. So and it, and it's all reaching out with, to the mayor of the town of Poughkeepsie? No, the mayor of Beacon and the mayor of Poughkeepsie, the city of Poughkeepsie. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. And the county's involved also. So. That's going to be put together through the Association of Mayors and Supervisors. But, the, uh, I'm sorry, we, we, I don't understand what we get over the tw over. I the don't cap. know what the dollar figure is okay. now at this point in time. Yeah. So. Do you have a sense of what we lost? $42,000, $44,000. Well, that's what was uh, this year, and then the shared election cost brings it down to 20-something thousand, but, you know. Well, the election cost is a totally separate thing. Just because they gave us that back right, doesn't mean right. that we didn't lose that other. So. Anyways, I just wanted to update you on that Thank you. since it was kind of a liaison yeah. type thing. So, um, yeah. So that's to continue. There's a, it seems to be pretty heated with the towns and villages, so it will continue. Who was the most vociferous against it? Everybody was, actually. Really? Uh, I. Uh, Everybody was outspoken. It doesn't matter across party lines. There were Republicans that were outspoken. Yeah, no, I, yeah. yeah. So.
So the towns, you know, people are, towns like Fishkill and Wappingers, they're they need it. I mean, the main concept is you know, two percent task cap. Everybody's laying off. You know, how can yeah, we? Yeah. We need yeah. help too. So, but. Great. Thank you. So, um, anything else from uh, liaisons? No. All right, some items for business. Uh, a resolution approving abstract six, vouchers V538 through V560, in the amount of $7,022.36. Motion. Motion, second. Second. Um, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? And that's uh, so moved. Item two for resolution is uh, a preliminary capital project for 2013, abstract four. Um, $4,420. Is that Motion. right? Yeah. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Uh, this was what we approved for the cemetery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cemetery committee, the markers. Yep. Okay. Uh, opposed? Uh, so moved. Item three for resolutions approving town hall usage application. Is there a motion and second? Motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? That is so moved. Okay. Item four is motion uh, resolution approving the employee pool passes. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Um, this is for all full time and part time year round non seasonal employees, elected officials, and their minor children. Minor is under 21? 18. 18. I didn't know I was on this, but. Yep. <laughs> well, I got to, uh, we're all on that. We can't actually abstain, can we? <laughs> no. I think we have to vote. Okay, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? That is so moved. Actually, mine's now over 18 since it last week. So. Oh, your last, your last one is yep. over 18? Yep. Mine are two. Item five is the resolution approving the summer rec hires. Motion and second. Motion. Uh, second. Any discussion? I'll, I'll make a second on it, and I guess we should discuss it. I don't have enough information here to vote on it. I, after what happened last week, I'm going to abstain until I can. Um, until I can compare it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we should have the information provided. So we should hold this over. Yeah. All right. So motion. So we'll hold this over till next week. Thank I you. I would also like to say I know this is late notice for rec hires and and uh, uh, lifeguard hires, but I'm willing to come in on a on a special meeting if we need to to make it happen after we have the correct and full information. So. Okay. I don't want to make it wait till our next meeting. Make the whole, well, I, you know, I've spoken to Warren about this too. Um, I have this later in the agenda. We can come back to it if you want to. Okay. Well, do you, do you want to tentatively approve the ones that are the same as last year? No. But how do we know? Well, we'll, we'll, have, we'll verify it. We'll get it, the rate. I think um, the pool opens the same day as our next meeting. These, so. are the, these are the coaches. Okay. No, it'll have to wait. I, this is not anything, I want to be very specific, this is not anything against our fantastic rec services and what the committee does. This is a process issue for me. And I think that it's gotten to the point where we, the town board, just don't have enough oversight over, over what, what and how we're spending. And... Um, I think I have an agenda item farther down. We can come back to it if you like. That's fine, Bruce. I don't have an issue with you if uh, approving it if it in fact is the same as last year. But if we don't know, then then it's going to have to be readdressed anyway. So if there's yeah, well, other ones, we're some, have to somebody in the business office is going to have to give us what the rates were last year because we don't know. Right. Well, what we were given wasn't the same as what it was last year. I think that's the issue. 
Um, yeah, in, f in five cases, you're right. But, but we didn't have that information. It wasn't on the agenda. It wasn't something that could have been checked ahead of time because we didn't know it was going to be on here. And as we talk procedurally, it'd be much easier if when, we, when we're doing salaries, we know, have two columns. One's what's last year and what's the proposed one for this year. Which we have that in the budget often. I've seen that many times with yeah. different things. Yeah. I don't know why we can't have it for rec. Or any, anything we're doing with salaries. Right. I've seen it on others. Look, I'm not voting for this. We had, you know, 2012 over 2013, we had additional hires, and the aggregate uh, hourly rate is 5% higher than it was, and we're, there's it's one person more. that we're paying $1,000 more than we've ever paid with no explanation. And if we're combining two jobs, my question is then how can someone who only did one job have enough time to do yet another job for an additional thousand dollars a season so I I'm okay with you with postponing it Elizabeth till we get the proper information. Are we having that discussion now? I don't know. Uh, we can. I, I can answer that one. Last year there were three twenty eight hundred dollar jobs. Right. This year there's one twenty eight hundred dollar job and one thirty eight hundred dollar job. The assistant camp director of twenty eight hundred dollars last year was also a counselor. And given that our staff was decimated with, um, we had basically no senior counselors returning this year except for one, it was decided that we'd try to go with that one person as the assistant camp director. And it's, it's really a head counselor kind of thing. The reason you need the position is because if the camp director can't be there or is off doing something else, has an issue, somebody gets injured, something like that. You need somebody else to keep things going. And there's a lot of paperwork, and um, they're, Chris and Alice are already working with that person now. So there, there's additional work before and after, and they do the cleanup and the inventory you know, before and after the end of the year. We also <laughs> have two stipends for $500 um, on, yeah, we, Last year we had three $2,800 jobs. This year we have a $2,800, $3,800, and then two additional $500 stipends. What, what are the additional $500 stipends? Aquatic uh, director stipend and a first responder stipend. Okay, there's the health director, the aquatics director, and the first responder. They're board of health required positions. In the past we've paid $2,000 total for those. We've cut it back to 1500 The um, camp director is registered or an LPN or whatever. She's taking the health director. Um, Cody she had in the past. Yeah, when and a it's few basically years. basically fulfilling the, the job that she does anyway. So it's recognizing that with the stipend. Well, she couldn't do it if, if, if she, like Lurie was, when she was the camp director, she couldn't do it because she wasn't a nurse. Right. So, so that's why that goes that way. Um, the first responder, it's a Board of Health requirement. Cody De Benedictus has the um, certification to do that, so we're, we're giving him the $500 for that. The, um, does the, the aquatics director, sorry. Is, does, the, does the LPN or nurse uh, uh, qualify for that same first responder? You know, no. It, it, it's all that's mood. Different. Here it is June. And these decisions are made, and we don't really know anything about it until we're here signing off on it. That's my problem. It's a process problem. We uh, have a recreation committee, according to a 2007 opinion from our town attorney, functioning as a commission. And this committee is hiring people, and you know, I'm so not. Uh, let me just be. Let me. But let me be very clear. I'm not being disparaging of. These fantastic programs are the work done by volunteers. I have a problem with the lack of oversight that, that we have. We're can I, can I finish? We have never interviewed or appointed anybody to the committee. 
The committee seems to be functioning as a commission or a statutory board. There's no round rec director reporting to the town board. I haven't seen an annual report to the town board. There's no financial statement itemizing income expenditures for the current year. There's no overview of current year activities, accomplishments, planned programs. There's no report disseminated for public scrutiny. There's no prepared budget by September that comes before us. And we have no input on the fees except for at budget time. Um, from 1994 to 2004, we had one consistent rec director. And since that year, virtually it's changed every year. Uh, we've expanded the summer camp into a seven week full day plus aftercare program, yet we have the same amount of staff and town hall that goes nuts, May, June, July, August, processing 60 additional employees. It's a huge burden. I just believe we've lost control and oversight of the budgeting because we don't have ad adequate communication or oversight. This is a department that spends about $120,000 a year and it's one of our biggest insurance liabilities. There just needs to be more, like just, I, all this information is great, the Board of Health, you know, requires that we do it, but why are we, why are we getting it now when we have to sign off on it? It's not adequate. I, so, I'm, I'm fine with, with having more visibility, more planning, everything else. I think I, we I need, think that's great. I, I think we should do that. If you remember, at the end of the year, I was very frustrated with REC. I know. And I wanted somebody else to take it over. And I would really, really appreciate it well, if the town I, board would take more of an interest in a positive manner and we can have... Wait, this is all reviews. positive. I offered to, I sniffed around and tried to take it over and I said, I think there, it needs to be restructured and then you said, forget it, I'll take it. I've talked to Warren. I think Warren needs to come in here because he has an opinion that we need to review the manner in which this committee is operating to ensure that the finances and the expenditures and hirings are consistent with the state, you know, municipal law. I, and I, I agree. To, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm is, absolutely not, fine with that. We're I not, think we're all on the same page with that. And I think it is too much for any of us to properly oversee to make sure that it's being run correctly. We've and got, maybe that is something that we as the town board need to hire an independent person to oversee REC in a bigger way. We can't. And report directly we can't. To us. We cannot I run a $120,000 department with volunteer labor. There's no answerability. And it's our kids, it's a swimming pool. That's all I have to say. I'm, I'm fine. Are you, so, okay, so there'll be some kind of proposal that you want to make with a. I think we have to get in, Warren in here to tell us what. You're talking why, about our attorney. Yeah, why okay. our structure may not be in keeping with you know state, general, municipal law, and how we have to re. You know, of course, we have to push ahead with this year and do as best we can, but I think we have to look to restructuring. Okay. You know, this is something that the community wants, and it's a fantastic program, but they're kids in a swimming pool and, you know, 60 part-time seasonal employees. This could be interesting, because remember, when Warren was here before, it was all volunteer committee. There, there was just... The liaison wasn't even on the committee, and that was a change when Warren was here. Well, so, so, I, I'm, what do you, I, I, what do you mean it was a change? What do you mean it was a change? They changed it from a town board member being the chair of the committee who's, who's to that? volunteers. The town board, when Warren was the town attorney, and who was uh, the town board? It was Steve Block, Dodd Crane, Ellen Silverstein. Uh, Linda Sauer, and I don't know who else, Paul maybe, Unicorn. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm fast, I'm, really anything we can do, I'm fine, I'm open to. I think just remember that what you just said was changed to, to more volunteer and less elected official control. Well, it changed again in 2008. It yeah, it went back to having a town board member directly involved. And the chair of the committee. Yeah, well, that, which was that, what the law said. That, I just which believe that even, <laughs> I, wait, I believe that we need, a, a, well, we need someone to tell us how to structure this, but I think it's prescribed in, a, in state, you know, general municipal law, and I think we need a rec director reporting to us. 
I think we need someone who's not making decisions on their own that yeah. we are supposed to rubber stamp. I think we have to be able to have some input. And if, if that's where you want to go, that I'm okay with that. I mean, the you're going to have to spend more money on a rec director, and that's good. If we want to offer this kind if of camp, that's what that we're going to have to do. Because honestly, and I'm past this, thankfully, in a lot of ways, but I miss it in a lot of ways too. But it was only half day when my kids were there. Mm -hmm. There was no full day. And if we're expanding services to such a great deal in the last 15, 18 years. 15, it's like, yeah, it's less than that. We have to kind of look at that and if, see if we're monitoring it correctly and if we need to do that and how we do it and if it's fiscally responsible and if it's being done appropriately. Look, if, the, if this is what the residents want, and we can I'm afford it. it. We should do it, but we have to I do agree. it properly. I agree. Oh. Okay. We'll, I don't we'll, know we'll, the proposal. Well, listen, I don't think so. anything's being done improperly now. I, I didn't mean to imply. You know, I apologize for that. I don't. With more oversight of the town board, this is $122,000 of taxpayers' money that we're looking at and saying, was it the same as last year? Is it not? Bruce, does it? Does it? Do, can I finish? Does it matter? We don't even know if last year was done properly, or if last year was e efficient, because we don't have anything to compare it to. We're we're operating right. blindly. Right. And, and if you say salaries are being raised without our approval, then that is improper. Yeah, I, the one I, that brought that to our attention. I, I agree with that, I, and it was not the direction that was given. It was something that happened in the process. I told you at the last meeting that there's 790 bucks that wasn't collected, and we don't know where that money is. There's breakdowns, and, it, and they're not just in one place. There, there isn't, there, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. There's also, I will say, though, that we've put a lot into the safety aspect of this. You, you know from a few years ago what was going on. We've made significant improvements in that, and I'm, I'll, I'll stop there, but I'll, I'm fascinated to hear what Warren has to say. Well, Warren or whoever else. I mean, it doesn't have to be Warren. You know, there must be direction from... You said Warren, so let's listen to Warren. Okay. And then we can go back to 2008 and see what happened there. I don't understand what you're saying. It's what I said before, that he... It changed when he was the attorney to the board before, away from what you're implying we need. No, it sounded to me like in 2008 that more oversight from the board was implemented. Yeah, but we did that. But he changed it the other way. Or it, it was changed the other way when he was in 2006 and 2007. Well, is, is I when think the only thing that changed is that we <coughs> added a town board member no, we restored a town board chair, member. As the chair of a committee, but I still have, I still think there's an issue with a committee functioning as a statutory board or a commission. Well, let's hear, let's follow this up um, at the next meeting and Fair see what enough. the proposition okay. is, yeah, okay? The only other so point I'm going I'd like to make is that, Bruce, it's up to us as the town board to direct our town attorney about what we want them to do. Mm. And so that, I don't think you should lose sight of that. That's our job as well, to direct the town attorney to do what we need to have done. For well, the recreation it, thing you're talking about. I was just this? taking oh, it out of context, yeah, totally, I guess. Totally. Okay. So I will make sure that Warren uh, is available at the next meeting, or if we have to schedule a special meeting so that we could start. Um, Let's have it at the next meeting, next okay. town board meeting. Okay. Okay. If that gives us enough time to provide what REC needs. Um, so item six is a resolution authorizing the payment of a new freezer for the concession stand. Oh. And that's for... Um, <laughs> to put the motion. attorney in? <laughs> no, no. The, um, uh, we, okay, what happened was the old freezer in the concession stand kicked. We checked on how much it would cost to repair. It's probably gonna cost more to repair. If it can be repaired, then cost for a new one. Um, between 300 and 350, we can get a, a decent one depending on where you go. Um, they last 10, 15 years. Is it an upright or a? It's a chest freezer. Chest? Seven cubic feet chest freezer, right. something like that. What will we do with the old one? We will 
as no a town holes board, in it. <laughs> as a town board, we will decide to surplus it, and then we will sell it for scrap. I like that. Um, Just check it before we dispose of it. Okay. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Item uh, seven is the resolution relating to the charges to town employees for medical coverage. This basically defers the 12.5 percent. Um, premium for medical coverage scheduled for the town's non-union employees due on April 1st and July 1st of 2013 to be further deferred to January 1st of 2014. A motion and second? Motion. Second. I think um, this was really good of us to do, okay. even though it's difficult. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Uh, item A is a resolution referring RFP for legal review. Motion. Second. Okay, what this is is the engineer for the ADA pavilion at the Thompson Mazzarella Park. As you know, Weston and Sampson did not want to uh, do that. It was not in their, the scope of their contract. And so what we want to do is we want to go out to bid for an engineer to do the design on that. Right. And it's got to be a professional their number, engineer. Their number was pretty high. It was like the 30 grand or something. Yeah, it was. A little, a little steep. Mm -hmm. Any further? No. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Uh, item 9 is resolution accepting the bid for the maintenance truck purchase. Motion. Second. Second. Um, any discussion? Oh. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? That is so moved. Item 10 is a resolution re approving the release of the escrow funds for the Rankliff Hotel. A motion and second. Motion. A second. Any discussion? Have we gotten um, advice from council on this? Uh, I have years ago. <laughs> what basically it entails is that the, the time frame in which we were to hold these things has exceeded. So I think um, uh, that was the uh, information I have had, so I have no opposition to it. Should we check with council? Are we sure we're in, you know, it certainly seems like we're holding a lot of money, but um, this was for the, the storm drain system. Uh, Kathy, can you speak to this at all? Yes, I um, <coughs> vaguely remember voting to release these. Uh, there, there have been partial reductions right. in the past but there's still amounts that are being held. I'm sorry, I know that we were talking about this and John had pulled up some good information on this, but I'm not realizing we're moving on this site's agenda. It wasn't on the floor there, so I didn't have a chance to repaint myself with the file. So please excuse me, I don't have all of the information at hand. Uh, but what I can tell you is that the, the my understanding is that the escrow is held, the maintenance bond is held uh, against any potential failures within a reasonable period of time on those drainage systems. I believe that, that time has passed. There was one failure and the money was taken out of that bond to, you know, we did that repair, that money was paid back into the town to take care of that. So the system works, that's the good news. Um, the only thing that's outstanding is I do think that there should be a reduction. I just don't know what exactly is in there because there's a piece of it that we would not want to take on a lot reduced. And that has to do with anything that has to do with that grease trap. There's some of the infrastructure that is absolutely related, but I think this is all tied into one. Um, and there's some that is not. And that other piece, um, you know, the town has taken the position consistently now since the construction that we want nothing to do with that. And that has to be covered, you know, separately and maintained. Um, so I would need to reacquaint myself with that, but I, in general, for the drainage stuff, yes, I would support a reduction at this time. How much is outstanding? Uh, I just actually, got this. Probably check with. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Elizabeth, you mentioned checking with the attorney. I actually think um, John Lott. That's fine, but I actually think that we should double check with, with the, the planning engineer. Right, engineer. Well. I think that's the most important. It, engineer and attorney, is there anyone well, the else? Or? That time on that was, um, was um, Morris. Morris is Ron Evangelista. Now we have a consulting engineer, Tom Max, but I think to understand the original infrastructure, I would actually think you would probably seek 
a letter from Morris Associates because they're the one who said that and had the reasoning. And I think that should be fairly simple. And again, that cost would come out of where we made. Is the agreement here? Do you have the agreement with you? Yeah, it's in, it's in the book. I just got it this afternoon, and I honestly haven't been able to. I couldn't open it. Mm -hmm. I was traveling, and I haven't had a chance to look at it totally. But I think that that sounds like the most reasonable way to go. I know that you guys have been very patient. It's a lot of money. Yep. And it is a lot of money, and certainly there could be a reduction made. I just don't know what that number is. That's exactly and right. if we need to reach out to Morris, I'm happy to call Ron tomorrow and say, look, we need to know as soon as possible what we should hold just regarding the grease trap issues. Well, isn't this a Board of Health issue as well? If, if the grease trap fails, won't, won't the Board of Health come in and tell them to remedy it? I think they won't truly do it. I mean, the onus would be on us to fix it, otherwise we wouldn't be able to operate. So... John, do you have the agreement handy? It's here. It's in the book. Is it? You know, I'm sympathetic. I think we have to move on it. I'd like to get some advice and get it on the agenda for next town board meeting. Absolutely. Could you come to the microphone? Oh, yeah, here's the agreement. Um, basically, my feeling on this is that the, the agreement has been fine. The agreement I think, has stood well, and none of us have any arguments with the agreement. Done what it's uh, supposed to do, which is protect the town from you know, having to pay from the failures of this system. So, all we're asking is that the escrow amount that we have to hold be reduced because we feel it, it, it's excessive. And history has shown that in four years there's been one $3,000 repair. So, that's, that's our feeling that it's just an excessive amount. Um, the agreement doesn't specify any escrow amount. The only the agreement itself only specifies that the amount should be held in escrow to cover professional fees uh, in monitoring of the agreement. So you're offering the five thousand to remain in escrow. Yeah, which that I comes think, from you. Yeah, we think that's a fair amount based on history, just to um, keep the thing rolling. What what I'm very wary of is truthfully, if we open the whole town engineer and legal review thing, I know it's going to cost $5,000 right there, just to refresh everyone's recollection of this agreement and the history. It's, it's a lot of work. I, mean, I would beg to request that people who are going to do that, it's necessary. And I know it's going to cost us a whole If lot. I can get an answer from Morris at no cost. Yeah, if Ron, yeah, Ron's okay. very familiar with this. So yeah. We may well just give you a... I'll call in tomorrow. Do you have the, um, I have the 08 agreement, and I think there's a newer, an older agreement. Do you have that one? The original is not the 08 one. And the 08, the other one, the original should have the uh, time frame for which the, the funding should be held. So what happened originally was uh, uh, the property owners uh, put up uh, cash in lieu of a uh, bond, I believe, ca uh, bond, a bond anticipation note. <laughs> Letter of credit, so so we're in an escrow account. I think they put the, the cash up. Yeah, that's the thing too. It's an awful lot of cash. Yeah. I, I think I think you sense the room supports that you have too much cash tied sure. up in this yeah. standing there. But but my thing here is that if this original contract says until this date, we don't really have a choice. For what I'm saying so. If you, I don't have the original here. This is the 08 agreement that we released some funding on. Uh, so you know. Really, that the, the agreement, the contract, the original agreement is what would indicate the release or not. I believe. And we don't have a lawyer here, but. No, I, I, I think you make an excellent point, Tom, and I actually agree to um, support. You know, as money going back, but I do think the town has to watch out for all of its taxpayers and be prudent mm -hmm. in setting any precedent as well. And I think it's not only Ron that we should check with, but it was Pam who drafted the agreement, and I think that we should... Not the first one. Not the first agreement. No, but the second one, which gave the reduction, which would have the history of the first one. Yeah, but that, that's not in here. I don't I, see that no, in here. No, I know. Yeah. I know. But I think that that would need to be checked on as well, because a lot of this was predicated on information that we had there. Um, I think, know, as I said, I think... Uh, We're going to have to do a little bit of research. 
I'm fine with that. I'm just, just wearing it. to a minimum. The yeah. fees yeah. were yeah. staggering Absolutely. last time. I'm, I'm just wearing. I hope you can. Understand. I'm just wearing yeah. that. I think so. we, we don't want to spend your money. Please. <laughs> don't want to out. spend. I'd rather um, spend the money at the hotel. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. uh, we will. Um, I think Warren is probably the original attorney that drafted it. We could probably find the original. Um, and by the way, there is a um, uh, an insurance held by the um, the owner too. A million dollar insurance looks like here for liability. So whatever. Uh, I guess we need the original contract. I, I that's what I need at least. But I think we are beyond the time that we really don't have any choice. I mean, I mean, I certainly support the releasing the funding if that's what the agreement was mm -hmm. I think it was so um, we'll have to follow up on this because we don't have get it, it in on front the of agenda us. for next right is that right James yeah. okay, okay so uh, two weeks from now the 24th I'll call Ron tomorrow we'll see if he has I, I don't think we need really? Ron I think no. we have we should okay. deal with Warren first he's got a it doesn't I mean even okay. if it yeah you know well, there will be a charge for that Warren won't I don't know that's the town's contract Right, he should you know, be it shouldn't be a, a it's our contract. it's our contract that we are. That's true. So we'll just ask Warren. Okay. You know. But who's I'll, want me to do that or? It's fine with me. Yeah. I have to talk to him on Thursday. And okay. All right, so we'll follow up and have this follow through on the twenty fourth. All right, so uh, item 11 is resolution authorizing, so that will follow up on the 24th, if I didn't make that clear. Item 11 is a resolution authorizing the undercoating of the new town truck. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, so move. Item 12 is a resolution declaring Rhinebeck Lead Agency for the dog park, reviewing the EAF and issuing negative, a negative secret declaration. Motion and second. Motion. Second. Second. Um, uh, discussion on that or no? John. All in favor, aye. Oh. oh wait, do we uh, do we need a hearing for that for secret or no? Not according to Warren. Okay. Uh, by roll call. But for this one, the next one, yeah. Okay. For roll call, uh, Supervisor Lusai, uh, Councilman Washburn. Aye. Councilman Fox. Aye. Councilperson Spencia. Uh, Spencia. Aye. Um, and Council Budget Kelvis absent. Well, that's so moved. Which he's doing great, by the way. Good. Really great. I'm sorry, who's doing? Oh. Yeah. Just so everyone knows, he's doing great. Wishes um. he could be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is. Uh, <laughs> we're going to vote on that thing tonight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you bring it up and I'll vote on it. Um. Item uh, 13. Is the resolution authorizing the intermunicipal agreement between the town of Red Hook and the town of Rhinebeck for establishment of a park jointly administered by the towns of Rhinebeck and Red Hook on the property within the town of Red Hook? This is for the dog park, I believe. Right. Motion and second. Motion. Second. A discussion on that. Okay. No. Okay. Um, do we need a roll call, call by this? This will be a supervisor votes aye. Councilperson Washburn. Aye. And uh, Councilperson Fox. Aye. Councilperson Spenzia. Aye. And that is so moved. And um, so uh, approved. Um, so we talked about the other items. Well, we did, but. Uh, anybody else have any new items? Well, pursuant to the review of the resolution from last week, do we need to go into executive session to discuss that? change in the amount or should I make a motion to reconsider the 529 motion to approve the 2013 summer season reporting form for summer positions due to the misinformation? I was not here for that vote so I can't um, comment by this one. I'm all for voting on it let's, in the future. After let's follow it up so we have more information, right? Exactly. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, what was the... Follow up on the next meeting? Unless well, are we going to go into executive discussion? We discuss don't have the information, do we? That we need? Well, we, we know the information. We know, we know what happened. We know that... Um, let's see. Um, one of them, Rebecca Borquist. I don't think we should... Should we talk by... Why not? We, well, we approved their, their salaries in, by name. 
I don't think we can do that. Huh? Yeah. We, well, I have titles. Can you use titles? Okay. I wouldn't use names there for. Okay. Well, one of them was what what Alice did, and and I found this out afterwards. Was she took a long term? These are long term employees. Raised them from seven thirty five to seven dollars and fifty cents. So it's fifteen cents raise. And it was one, two, three, four, five. Um, the three of them went for fifteen cents, and there were two who went for ten cents from seven twenty five to seven thirty five. And her reasoning was they'd been here a while and she was trying to give them some kind of recognition for being here. What ha if you look at the different uh, salaries, we have some people who are making a lot more than others for the same job. Mm -hmm. And it depended on when they got hired in and when we started freezing the seasonal salary. So some people got caught in the, in the window. Um, and so she was trying to do something with that. I'm, I'm fine if you want to put them back to what it was last year, if you want to go and look at all the salaries. and I, I, I have no problem with, with raising someone 10 cents or 15 cents an hour. Absolutely none. I know how hard they work. I know how committed the great ones are. Uh, it's not up to Alice or anyone else to approve salary hikes. It's up to us as a board. Yeah, That's and, where my problem is. Yeah, and is. what you don't seem, you weren't here, was right, this, this proposal week, so. was not given to us ahead of time so that we could verify okay. it. It showed up in the book that night, and I assumed that they were the same as last year. I can see why you that's, would make that mistake. That's the direction. I would have made that same mistake last meeting. So. I, I can guarantee this it. Isn't a, this isn't a fault or blame. It's We need to tighten up our... So I think I would like to take a step back, look at all of them, actually compare, see what we're doing, and us be the ones to approve increases or not increases, right. if that's, that's reasonable. That's our job. That is our what? job, as I see it. Okay. We'll do Are that we next meeting. Right. making a motion to roll them back? Or? Unless gonna... we need to meet before to make it happen in time. I mean, is anyone going to quit? We got we have people in place. Let's vote on it next time. Nobody's I mean you know? Yeah. Right? The lifeguards didn't change and they're the only ones working right now. Okay. So all right. So uh that seems reasonable too. We have public comments? Anything? So uh otherwise we'll have a motion and second to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved.